Cock that, cock this, and cock. Cock everything. Cock that. <laughs> Cockage. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Lynette, for those of you new. I'm so excited for the video today. You can see our bathroom in the background here. It is upstairs. It is our boys' bathroom or the like the, the extra bathroom. And it has been untouched pretty much since we moved in and it is not looking good at all. I've been wanting to do it all along and we've been here almost two years now so it's finally happening. We've had major delays. I've had to kind of just rethink what I wanted to do. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I would love that. So I'll just give you a little bit of a look at the lovely bathroom here. Um, the walls were this color. We haven't done anything besides we had the ceiling scraped before we moved in and it's just stayed that way. We also had the drywaller patch some stuff when he was here earlier this year. Uh, I don't know what I'll find behind this vanity here, but I'll show you, this is what the tile looks. Now I know some of you guys might like this, but it's not something that I truly enjoy. So the tile themselves are okay. It's just they're a tan color and the floors are like a peach. So we plan to paint this all white. That way we don't have to mess with the walls, stuff like that. We're trying to kind of save a little bit where we can. Um, the bathtub will stay. We plan to take these floors out, put new tile in. I'm gonna get rid of the vanity. It has this old like shell style top and we're getting a new toilet. This one has seen its better days by far. Uh, this is coming off of the wall. The mirror is coming down and I'm not positive on what I'm going to do paint wise, but I'm excited. Um, I'm hoping the paint will work on the wall tile. They said it should, that it's perfect because it's made for surfaces like this, like for tile and things like that. So we're going to give it a try. And that is pretty much what we're working with. I am really, really excited to be able to give it a complete uh, makeover. So let the demo begin. to salvage the vanity, take it to Habitat for Humanity, but he had to cut part of it apart inside because I think whatever happened when they were installing it earlier, he couldn't even turn the water off, so we had to go and like splice it. And now, yeah, we've had to like cut stuff apart in the back, so unfortunately it's not salvageable. This bathroom project was to have supposed to happen a long time ago already, and I had ordered a vanity online. Bad experience from <laughs> Partly my fault and uh, the company Gettikers just is not getting anywhere at this point and so we had to do another vanity and finally we're just like we need to get something so it we ended up just going to Lowe's getting something that I didn't necessarily want. At this point we're tired of waiting and we're just gonna try and work with it. <laughs> so yeah anyway he's trying to take the whole thing apart here and get it taken out. We can glue this back together. Huh, you think? Being that it's kind of set back in against, wedged in, you know, and grouted up against it, uh, it didn't come out in one lovely piece like we were hoping. They grouted the seams, so that along with the fact that he couldn't get the water pipes unfastened, it's just not going to work. I mean, if someone wants just the base. <laughs> <laughs>
So the next thing we're gonna do is start painting the wall tile. Uh, I have this product here from Beyond Paint and they are sponsoring the video today. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, but I have never used this before, but I'm excited to try it. Uh, the reason I decided to go with the wall or paint the wall is because of this. This is a different type of paint from just your regular stuff. This will it supposedly bonds to pretty much anything. It's not meant for just like your your regular walls. This would be more for cabinets, uh, for tile. Let's see what all does it say on here. It, for wood, linoleum, glass, laminate, plastic, varnish, tile, masonry, metal, painted surfaces. So pretty much anything. And you are you don't have to like sand or prep unless there's like you know grease or something somewhere you'd obviously have to clean that so i just went ahead and cleaned it the walls with a little bit of vinegar and water and we're gonna go ahead and try it out so it's like a pudding texture you i don't think you even have to shake it or anything so something else about their paint is that it is low VOC, so it has minimal odor and it's safe for people and pets. So this does have a sealer within its formula, um, but it does also have a top coat that you can put on to give an extra like bonding or sealant to it. And it's comes in like a satin finish. That's what they sent along. It's like a clear thing that you put over it. Uh, so I think typically you might only need two coats, but since I was giving them really light coats, it took us about three just to get it nice and smooth or as smooth as possible. Okay, so I'll try to do as best the job as I can to show you how it looks when it goes on. This is with the foam. Uh, it definitely works better on something like this if you want a pretty smooth finish. But this is what it looks like with the furry brush. So depending what you're doing, uh, that would be the way to go if you're like wanting to kind of hide certain things. You know, it can kind of um, add a little bit of texture to it. So we're not sure yet what's gonna happen with this border. We might just have to leave it. Okay, checking in with you. I haven't really been filming too much the last couple of days, but we've so far given the bathroom two coats on the tile. I think we're gonna do another one plus seal it just to make sure everything's covered because we're giving pretty light coats. Um, and then the tile guy, one of our friend from church actually, is installing the floor tile. So this is the progress so far. Um, I hope you can hear me, but anyway, I've decided on a black hexagon shaped tile. We got these from the tile outlet here locally, really good price. have right around a three coats of paint on these tile and I put a little extra coat up here I'm getting ready to put the sealer on uh, at this point it has sort of like a matte finish and this is the light satin sheen so I think that should give it a little bit more of a you know satin feel the people before us didn't grow out behind the toilet because they obviously didn't take the toilet out <laughs> Unreal. All right, I'm getting ready to paint. I'm gonna paint it white once. I have it here at home anyway, and then I'll see how it looks with the tile. And if I don't like it, I can always change it, right? So after putting on the first coat, do you see what's happening? This is looking more cream, tan colored, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna have to come up with a different shade of white to make this appear more white. And I'm thinking of doing something really bold.
out a bunch of shower curtains here and it this one I kind of like the color it's a Casa Luna one from Target but kind of like Nick said it kind of makes it feel smaller in here and I don't know so I'm just trying out a couple different options see how much bigger it feels I wish I could take it all the way up but there it's not tall enough so we've got a gap here from where the old vanity used to be on either side. And so Nick is trying to kind of close it in and I'll have to paint it yet. And do some caulking and shut that off and caulk that, caulk this and caulk. Caulk everything. Caulk that. <laughs> Caulkage. All right, yeah, I'd say it's looking pretty good. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of final result. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you how it turned out. I feel like it looks 100 times better and a huge improvement. I just, I love how it turned out and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a tour. you guys can hear me it's not too echoey um, but I am really happy with how the wall tile turned out and everything from with the beyond paint um, it was definitely a learning experience for us but I would definitely recommend it if you are wanting to you know paint some furniture tile um, whatever obviously I have only tried it on wall tile at this point so um, definitely use a foam brush if you're wanting the smoothest finish. That's at least our experience. So definitely go check out the description box for links to their site and everything uh, just to give you more information and that sort of thing. So I will leave that in my description box below. So as far as the curtain itself, Target actually sells these right now and I had found one at Target, put it up, and then I went to Goodwill in the meantime and I found the same one for like seven bucks versus 20 something. I was like, well, definitely, I'll just return the Target one and use this one. So I do feel like keeping it light helps in here in the sense of making it feel more open. That's what I discovered after trying out a darker one. I just didn't quite like that. I felt like it just kind of closed it in. So the next thing I want to point out is the dark ceilings. I used cracked pepper. I had it on hand anyway. It is by Bear. I have it in several walls of my house and it was a bit of a risk, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to try it because I felt like it needed something and honestly, I feel like it makes 
the room feel a little bigger somehow. Um, like the dark ceiling makes it feel like there's more depth in there and I love it. I am really excited with it. So if you're wanting to try something, it, just try it. It is only paint. You can repaint it again and that I just, I love how it turned out. The other thing I love is the black hex tile. I wanted to use these for a while now and it just brings in the pop of modern that I needed in here and I feel like it also ties in well with the ceiling. Uh, so a friend of ours, as you had seen, did these and they're actually going to be moving so unfortunately um, he won't be around too much longer in the Sarasota area. But um, yes, we're very thankful he was able to do it for us. Uh, just with the hex being a little bit more complicated, especially since we've never tiled before. So we're happy that we were able to get that done um, by him. He did a good job. So the next thing I'm going to point out is the rug. This one is from Laloy, or it's a Laloy brand, I should say. I found it on Amazon. And I will have it linked below. Let's see if I have the sticker. This is the Layla Spice Marine, um, and it's a two by five. And I love the fact that it's a longer runner in here. My boys from past experience just kind of like want to make the whole floor wet as they're getting out of the bathtub. So <laughs> I was like, you know what? This will solve the problem, I think. And I love the more vintage feel. It brings in some color in the room and I love it. I did also use these hooks again, the ones that we could use downstairs in our laundry mud room. Um, I will have them linked there in my Amazon store. Now you will notice on Amazon that they are not this color. Uh, they come in like a cherry finish, I believe. I'm trying to remember if they have another uh, finish. But basically, I strip or sand them down. And then these, I actually put like two coats of poly on. Um, so you could also like hang the towel this way if you wanted. But I love the, the mid-century modern feel that they add. And then coming over to this side here... This is the vanity that we went with from Lowe's. It is definitely not exactly what I had pictured in the beginning. We ended up switching out the hardware and that helped it feel a little bit more modern. They had like the little round um, pulls on them from before. So we switched it out with just some black hardware. This was also from Lowe's. Um, and then there's this drawer in here. Um, there's like three slots of stuff. I haven't put a lot in here. And then the bottom drawer is still pretty empty, so I'll have to kind of figure that out. So yeah, I'm happy with it. It's actually more narrow than the old one was, but in a, in a way that's actually good because it gives us more walking room here. Also, since it's quite obvious that the door is not painted, <laughs> <laughs> well, we did not get to that, but I'm actually not really planning to do it because, well, for one, we don't often see the back of the door and we're going to be replacing the doors, so it's just going to look a little cream for now. We did have this faucet that I had planned to use in the bathroom downstairs and was not able to, so I wasn't able to return it and I couldn't sell it. No one seemed to want to buy it, so now I'm actually happy I didn't because I could use it in this one. The mirror on the wall is from Target and it just has a very like modern feel to it. It has a little bit of wood and at first I thought I wanted a black one, but with all of the other black things I have in here, I do feel like this is actually good. And it is a taller mirror, which I like because I don't know, it just like draws the eye up and it's more reflective so you do still, you know, it makes you feel like the bathroom is bigger than what it is, which I like. You see the wreath on the wall here behind me. I ended up getting some clippings at Home Depot in their bin, their Christmas tree bins out in the tent. And I also put in a couple of fake sprigs just to kind of fill it out a little bit, but I decided to decorate the bathroom with a little bit of Christmas in mind. So later on, I'll be able to redecorate it again, which makes me happy. These shelves are Target as well, and they are like a 24 inch. And I ended up styling with mostly what I had. I did pick up these two things at Home Goods, and I really like them. I like these like amber colors. I found that soap, as you had seen in another video, also got this one. This is like a black. Uh, rosewood vanilla smells really good and I did buy this frame. I put the boys' picture in here. I love that one. Isn't it so cute? And I had these two trees downstairs, but I just moved them up for right now and I also added some twinkle lights. 
I guess they're not twinkle, but the little, the like miniature lights. And the bottle brush trees were from Hobby Lobby. I don't think I mentioned that. I did put this cute little tree up here as well. I kind of am just moving some things around from my house and you know it's always great to be able to just kind of repurpose and be able to use things in different spaces. The towels are Target. I had been searching and searching and searching for the right towels and I finally just decided to use these. It wasn't exactly what I had in mind but I actually feel like it ties in well with the navy and the rug and everything um, so I'm happy with them. And this way my three kids all have a hook for their towels. And then I also have the same towel here on our towel hook. This one was from Amazon. I'll have that linked as well. I'll try to have as much stuff down below in the description box as I can. And this picture here, I you saw me do it. I actually added another piece of plexiglass to the back then because the picture kind of wanted to come loose. I really enjoy like this clear frame and I could have just gone back to Target and gotten another one, but I have a lot of frames stashed, um, artwork and stuff, and I like to rotate things. So right now I wasn't using this frame and I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna use it, I'm gonna repurpose it, and um, I can always move this somewhere else, put this in another frame if I want to, so I really like it. You can see it as you go into the bathroom. It just adds like a little pop of color, pop of modern, and yet it's it's actually an older picture. So I'm I'm happy with that. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the tour and everything. If you have questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love that. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We would absolutely enjoy that. We have a lot of uh, projects coming up in the near future hopefully there's some fun things happening and hopefully some more things like this will be coming your way so stay tuned for that thank you all so much for watching and for supporting us and i'm just grateful for all of you guys support that's it i'm gonna stop talking hope you all enjoyed the video i will see you in my next one bye guys